I know is so explosive and so... Welcome, Climate Viewers. Today is July 26, 2014. My name is Jim Lee from Climate Viewer News, and this is your Climate Viewer 3D report. Uh, today, we're going to cover the border crisis on the southern border of the United States. I found this great map um, by a user named Daniel on Google Maps, and he has painstakingly gone through and mapped out a lot of the stuff I was going to work on. So you can see here is each of these red marks along the border are places where they have implemented a place to keep these undis unaccompanied immigrants. Um, this is phenomenally crazy uh, stuff. So let's look at a couple. So this one says Southwest Key Facility Conroe with links. You can click the links. It'll open it up in a iframe here. You can click close browser. Go back to the map. Just many, many references. It's just unbelievable. I mean, I knew that there was a lot going on, but whoa. Um, so let's uh, let's get some people in here to Climate Viewer 3D, and it's at climateviewer.com slash 3D. Click on places. Under the Big Brother category, you'll see U.S. border crisis, relocations of unaccompanied immigrant minors. And as you can see, there's many of them up here in the northeast we need to get those uh, guys as far into Democrat land as possible I guess um, very interesting stuff so with that I also added um, because uh, they're not not everything could possibly be in this map I mean where else could you house them how about uh, prisons most people don't know about private prisons there are the two big ones are CCA which is Corrections Corporation of America an example of that type in Florence Arizona and right side right outside of town you'll see the Central Arizona Detention Center and the Florence Correctional Center um, these are CCA facilities and Corrections Corporation of America along with a uh, geo group they are privately run they are traded on the stock exchange and their stock goes up as immigrants go in their beds and as you can see here npr investigation private prison companies help write sb 1070 american legislative exchange council alec um, basically a bunch of guys from the private prisons met with the lawmakers and wrote the law SB 1070 to put more illegals in those private prisons um, so definitely keep an eye out for the private prison industry for a definite place to house your illegal immigrants um, my mother actually worked for Immigrations Customs Enforcement and flew these gentlemen back um, we lived out here in Arizona I worked at Florence Correctional Center and I can assure you that there were many immigrants in those beds and they loved it they absolutely loved it they got free health care many of them came in they got their teeth fixed and they were having a ball um, so keep that in mind private prison CCA geo group uh, all of these locations here um, currently housing your friends from outside the country and all the rest are living here stealing your identities so enjoy that they will not have to pay that back and you're gonna still have to deal with your stolen social security number so I also wanted to add this one in here because I had a bunch of requests for this I keep saying what's up with the FEMA camps are there FEMA camps well I went and I searched the internet for all of the maps that have been made about FEMA camps and I combine them together and here's what you get so fly through these enjoy your uh, your browsing history I've got both of the sources quoted here but as you can see both of these are now gone um, these are where the the image sources of the maps of FEMA camps that are on the internet um, came from so I, I put those on here too you can look through them there is some good information in here many of these locations are not actually close to anything um, so they were kind of sloppily put in uh, but it may be a good research topic for you if you're interested in the thing um, and then finally since we're done with the border crisis I just wanted to give you guys a quick update I put a whole bunch of stuff in here 
today. A bunch of Easter eggs all over the Climate Viewer map, so check it out. We've got uh, U.S. drone strikes in Pakistan, heavy stuff, and the blue dots. And if you click on them, you can see that they have information about how many militants killed and have many sources for each. I also added Native American Indian lands. I have two different sources for that. Combine them together and here's what you get. And you can click on those and see Cheyenne Arapaho. Very good stuff. And let's go down here and then there's another category. Backed by popular demand. Pyramids of the world. Um, this is based on that uh, video. If you were lucky enough to see it, uh, Revelations of the Pyramids, where they happen to notice that most of these pyramids seem to line up. Very interesting stuff. And you can actually go in. These are uh, very accurate locations. And they are right on top of it, as you see, right there at the center of everything is everybody's favorite pyramid. Giza our star chart from the ancients and with that I've got the ley lines too. Somebody explain to me how these ley lines work. Don't even know? Looks really cool. You tell me. So with that, unless someone like you cares a whole awful lot, nothing is going to get better. It's not.